This is DuPage Now for Thursday, July 10th, 2008. Lawyers for Addison resident Gary Shuning, the man accused of killing his mother and a call girl in 2006, are seeking to have his interviews with police while he was in the hospital and a videotaped statement after his release from the hospital excluded as evidence in the case. Shuning, who was in court on Thursday, was indicted in 2006 on 11 counts of first-degree murder for allegedly killing the two women in his home. In Lombard, Paul Grigo, who admitted to shooting a police officer in 2004, has been sentenced to 65 years in prison. Grigo, 59, opened fire on three Lombard police officers with a 38 caliber revolver in 2004 when they came to his apartment to investigate a theft. Grigo had stolen an $8 bottle of vodka from a local Jewel Osco store. Officer Jerry O'Mara was shot in the shoulder, ending his 13-year career with the Lombard Police Department. While he admitted shooting at the officers, Grigo's attorneys argued that he was mentally ill because of decades of chronic alcoholism. In other news, two of the four men charged with the May 2007 beating death of 46-year-old Villa Park resident James Kaniski appeared in DuPage County Circuit Court this week. Samaj Walker, 22, of Chicago, was charged January 30th in connection with the murder after surrendering to Villa Park Police. He appeared in court for a status hearing and will return to court August 12th. Dwayne Head, 19, also of Chicago, appeared for a status hearing on Thursday. He will return to court August 13th. Walker and Head and two other men allegedly beat Kaniski at his home during an attempted robbery. Kaniski died May 25th of last year at Loyola University Medical Center in Maywood. Each of the four men has been charged with first degree murder. If convicted, the defendants could face from 20 to 60 years in prison. For these stories and more from around the county, log on to mysuburbanlife.com. That was DuPage Now, and we'll see you on Friday.